But the purpose of this is to really put the candidate in a position where they're able to take the certification, whether it's at home or someplace that's convenient for them. As we see here, this individual is alone on their computer. They'll go to the website as a candidate and they'll log in and they only have one test option to pick and they click start test. They'll copy a code that's specific to them and they'll start the setup, which will take them to our partner, which is PSI, download the secure browser, install that on their machine. And in that process, we're gonna confirm that their microphone works. Once we've confirmed that the microphone works, they'll input the code from the prior screen. They'll validate that. They'll see again, this is the test that I'm supposed to take. And then they'll click start. Part of that security check is to make sure they only have one monitor running. And if they have any other software open, this is where they'll be prompted to close that. And once they've done that, they can then proceed to the next step in the validation. The first step in the security validation is to take a photo ID. The individual will hold that up. They'll take a picture of that ID. It'll then be captured and saved. And once they've done that, we then move on to the next step in the validation, which is the room scan. And this is very important. We need to make sure that there's nothing in the room. There's no per other person in the room. Uh, there's no paper, there's no tablet or anything that's in that room that a person could be using to potentially cheat on the test. It's also important as part of that, that they scan the entire room, even under the, the desk or the table that they're using to make sure that there's nothing there as well. Once they've scanned that environment, they'll have a chance to confirm the video, that it is them, that they've made that scan. They'll then submit that scan as well. And the last step is to do a photo. So once you confirm that photo and you like it and you're happy, you'll submit it and you'll be taken to the first video, which will tell you about the experience that you'll face during your TOSA certification experience. It'll tell you how many questions that you'll receive. And on, on this test, there's 35, that it's an adaptive test and that the difficulty level of questions will vary based on your prior answers and that you have one hour to finish the certification. And when you're ready, the candidate will then click and launch the test where they'll receive questions that are multiple choice, similar to this. And you'll notice in the upper left hand or upper right hand corner, they're being recorded as they're going through this testing process. Not only are they being recorded on their video, but we're recording audio and we're recording their screen as well. So it doesn't matter if it's a live application question or if it's a multiple choice, we're gonna capture everything that's happening on their desktop. And at the conclusion of the certification, they can provide any comments that they want. They'll be taken to a screen that will let them know that their file is being sent off to the first proctor for review, and they'll see their certification score as well. But a very straightforward and simple process in reviewing um, what this process might look like in an abbreviated fashion.